going on folks me my kind of Betty back at it with another episode and my beautiful wife is going to tell you what the topic is going to be tonight the topic is what are men looking for ladies I know that you guys want to know this I surely want to know this I still want to know this but <laughs> what we're looking are... for you that's what we're looking for <laughs> what are men looking for seriously what are y'all looking for um to sum it up, I know it's a broad question. We're looking for many different things. It just depends what mood we on, what what uh zone we in at the time. Mm -hmm. Especially when digging. Now, it could be, well, we looking for a jump off. Very convenient. We don't really want commitment at the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got a girl, got a situation. And we just want something else extra because that particular situation isn't giving us what we want. Hmm. Or we on our way out. Hmm. Other side of the coin is we want a stay relationship. We tired of back and forth, spending money, wasting time, people not serious, chick head is not right. You know, she's all <laughs> she all over the place, driving you crazy, unnecessary stuff. So, we just want some substantial. Maybe we're not even thinking of wedding bells right away. Just a decent relationship that lasts a couple of months. I have a couple of um, friends that, I don't know if they're looking at marriage right away, but with functions, they want to be able to bring somebody. But the relationship doesn't seem to last that long, or they don't feel like they should take them to jet because... Things are still a little sketchy. Mm. They're still trying to fill things out. So, um, again, it depends on the guy you're with and where their head is. And looks ain't going to tell you. Um, mm. You got to feel the dude out to each his own. Each time you meet somebody, it's going to be a different situation category. Or, like we was talking about on prior um, vlog, uh, it's that vibe, what you bring out of them. Again, me, at the time when I met her, I wasn't really thinking about marriage. Down the road, yes, if it happens, it happens. If not, I'm not stressing myself looking for it. I was more so looking to date. Um, and if something came good out of it, would it be a stay relationship? Plus. But I wasn't going to go overboard or anything else like that. So, um, again, that's that fact that when you're with somebody and they bring it out of you. Now, all of a sudden, you're getting ideas like, okay... This could be going somewhere, you know. Um, okay. Pause. Pause. Okay. Now, I'm going to interject, right? Now, sometimes, okay, I understand what you're saying, that some women just bring out things in men, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what happens when you meet a dude and you guys vibe, you like him, he like you, y'all got a good energy, got a lot of things in common, but he straight up tells you, like, I don't believe in marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't believe in it. It's not something that I want to do. But y'all click on every other level. Mm -hmm. You know, he's cool to hang out with. You like, there's chemistry, you're attracted to each other. But he straight up tells you that, right? Now, should you go into this thinking, because we got a good vibe, he might want more from me down the line? Or should we take that as a red flag and just peace out? Like, what do we do? If he's telling you that from the gate, um, again, it's nothing personal to you, but his mind is made up already. Entering this dating scene, he knows that's what most women want. That children, maybe they have children already, but definitely marriage, that's pretty much probably going to come up um, within the date of conversation mm. and what you want in the next five years or just the idea of doing it. They want to know if it's possible. So if a guy tells you that straight up, um, run. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna. Oh. He's not, if that's what you're looking for, marriage. He's not gonna change his mind. You're not gonna change it. Um, is it possible? Yeah, two percent. But I mean, you want to waste time on two percent? Like that's not enough. <laughs> um, that's fact. So um, again, if they tell you respect that, they thought about it. There's something they have a hang up about it. And they're rigid and they're focused on it. And you could be all this, that, and the third, but if 
they have that idea in their mind and they have their philosophy about it. You know, just like politics. You, you don't agree, somebody's giving you their view, it's their view, you can't get mad. But if you know you don't rock with that, it's true. Don't then take the conversation because somebody gonna get mad and you know, it's gonna lead to something else. So it's true. Because I, I'm I'm guilty of getting into something like that where it's like they tell you straight up like I ain't looking for no commitment and you riding with them, you dating, you going out, you hanging out and in your head you're like, I, I like this person and you know, we would be so great. But they told you like, yeah, this is all it's gonna be because I don't want more. And in your head, in your heart, you keep getting into it, hoping the deeper you get, that it'll change. And it's like, uh, you just set yourself up. And uh, I'm very serious about those things because to me, if a woman asks me a question and I tell them my view on there or what I want, and you know, they just smile and listening like it's all good. And then meanwhile, in their mind, <laughs> it's gonna be different. I'm taking that as you're not listening. To me. You're not taking me seriously on what I'm saying. And you think that you can do whatever you want and you'll get me to change my mind because you got me wrapped around your finger. I don't like that. Because if I'm telling you that straight up, I mean, trying to think somebody punking them. But, nah, but to me, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Same here. No, and then you just, switch it up. We like, just suckers for romance and sucker for love. You know, you get caught up. You, you trying to work around the yeah, situation. Because he's he telling you. We, we do so try to So how you going to try around. to figure out an angle at that point? Like, it's straight up. I don't like, know, because we hope that the feelings will grow inside of you, too, to make you change your mind. if the guy, as he's saying it, he's not really solid as far as why he feels that way or you know somebody not giving you a straight answer like they they going this way they going that way then that is understandable maybe it, it sounds like they haven't really thought it through yes um and then maybe but again then that means they're all over the place and they're gonna drive you crazy and they're not sure what they want so i don't know if that's a good sign either um but somebody that tells you look um i'm not getting married I saw the way my father and my mother was. I don't believe in it. There's so many people getting divorced. Um, look at our court system. And then they getting all that. They not getting married. They may live with you, have kids with you, but they serious about it. Something about that title and going through the process is not something they want. That's so stupid though. I know, I know. Everybody I mean, got their own you know, things. It is silly. Most why of the time, you, it don't make sense. Why would you be with somebody for like 15 years, but then when it comes to marriage, it's like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. But yeah, like, like, what are you doing here? Like, what are you, what are you putting me through? It's like, meanwhile, we it. had like four kids or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, how much more worse could it get? But some people feel the moment you say I do, things get messed up. Everything could be peachy before moving in everything perfect that's what some people tell me a lot of people have that perception and then the moment you move in things change but not to be off topic but again <laughs> with me and you it was a little different because we had like trial periods for each type of stage so we was able to see how it would play out so we didn't just jump into things I think um, some people don't plan very well. They just jump into things. There's still some couples that are moving in after they get married. Prior to getting married, they're living separately. To me, some people, their religion or whatever, their beliefs, right. they or they like their space, or they feel. And there's some people that have long-lasting relationships still together without doing that. So sometimes it works. Me personally, and from my experience, just confirmed for me. You know, moving in with the person, spending some time with them, seeing their habits for a while um, until you're like 100% comfortable. Then if you're thinking of marriage or moving in with them permanently, you can do it because you saw like, okay, you know, it's been cool. We haven't been getting in arguments, you know. So, um, again, like you, sh you should plan more versus jumping into things that you have to do. All right. So, um... Is it true that in the within the first hour of meeting a woman, just conversation, you meet her at a party, a bar, whatever, mm -hmm. you know exactly where you're gonna place that woman in your life? Like, like I mean, I know you told me you don't believe in love at first sight, like, right. but um, 
I heard that men say that, like, within the first few minutes of meeting somebody or speaking to them or whatever, you kind of... Majority, 98% of the time, um, based on what she says, mm. how she says it. Mm. Um, if she doesn't say much, mm. then it's like, is she shy? Is she not sure about herself? Damn. The conversation shouldn't be such a struggle. So So what does that okay, okay, okay. So let's let's break that down. So if you meet a woman, right? Mm-hmm. And um she doesn't say much or she's just kinda like shy or so would that make you feel like, oh, she a little gullible or she I can manipulate her or well, she's a drag or would you know like how how what like what box it, do they it, go it, in? It depends, but if all of these things are running through your head, then, you know, clearly it's not flowing properly. Another thing, wake up call is she's just not that interested in you. You know, she could think you're attractive, but after meeting you, you're not like what she thought or she realizes you're not her type. But so, we're not talking about her. We're talking about you, what men think. What okay, if so if it's for me, if the conversation is not flowing, I don't think it's going to be anything long term because we got to talk sometime yeah that's, that's, hmm. so for me like after a while it's like ah, it's not clicking the chemistry is not there so all right so i'm gonna just put him on blast right now he don't know this is coming we didn't rehearse this uh -oh. <laughs> but okay so i mean i'm his wife now so whatever who cares um but i remember in the beginning when we were talking someone of his exes tried to dm me right so homegirl was salty as hell because prior to me he was off the radar for social media okay you could not find this dude on the rock nothing he was ghost nope. so i guess he popped up on like you know the popular page or something or whatever with me and something like that so she felt the need to reach out to me and tell me like oh you know i see you with him but let me tell you about him when he was with me he was x y and z da 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 and he wasn't trying to commit and da da da, da. and i just was like well sis did you see us on the bridge i'm sorry you're not the chosen one you know Hospitality. so lady sometimes you're just not the chosen one i'm i mean you will be the chosen one for the right person but sometimes you just not like you know she was trying to bust my bubble but she ended i ended up busting hers because i'm the one who's married to him like you just mad that you didn't get the outcome that i have with him so you salty you want to throw shade and send me a message but sometimes you're just not the chosen one for that man you know i have exes that are married have families and stuff with other people i just wasn't that person for them mm -hmm. you it's something you just gotta accept and some people don't know how to accept that. They stay in bad situations, hoping it change. But sometimes that person is just not for you. Because you could be with somebody for 10 years, and it don't go nowhere. And you can meet somebody in a year, and you're married. Yeah, like, um, we, we talking about candy and bubblegum. I'm checking out of that conversation really quick. It's about... <laughs> candy so, and bubblegum. Yeah, like, childish things. <laughs> and it's like... You'll meet somebody that you can have childish conversations with. Yeah. You know, and you yeah, guys match. vibe, and you guys have a good time. Y'all both kid around. Me, after a while, I lose interest. So the conversation definitely wasn't there. I think that was... Why the, you didn't talk to her? Yeah. That's the number one thing. You know. Um, the vibe wasn't there. So, going back to it. Um, I don't know. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, so I was like, well, what do you want? You did say what you guys want, but I just feel like, ladies, we need to do a better job at assessing what's going on, you know? I feel like sometimes we set ourselves up, so you just got to pay attention, because if a dude wants what he wants, he'll tell you, and I know that from meeting my husband, we only dated for five, but well, we only been together for five years. We dated for, like two and a half before he proposed he moved in after the second year and then like the end of that year he we lived together before the end of that year mm -hmm. before it turned the year he proposed mm -hmm. and then a year later we were married so it moved kind of quick you know because there's some people still boyfriend and girlfriend for 15 years you know what i'm saying no shade to those people mm -hmm. but i'm basically saying if a man wants you or he knows what he wants the process is gonna go like this 
I don't feel like you need to be here trying to make up ideas in your head of why it's not going where it is. No, it is what it is because he told you and you just don't want to believe it. Well, he's showing you. Yeah. Um, so, visually, again, stay on topic here. What are men looking for? Me, personally, I want to know. Right, substance. She got going, something going for herself. I look, I'm checking the way she's carrying herself. All right? Picture like being on a date where you can see everything front row seeing is believing. Um, I'm checking the conversation game. I want to know if female has something going on, not just going to work, coming home, hobbies, any plans, things that are eventful, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what I have going on. So I think that's um, important. If somebody has something going on, the other person got something going on, they got something to talk about. They got something to talk about. It's flowing. If it's seesawed, you know. Again, those are those little gaps where it starts to get awkward after a while. Um, you know, interesting topics, interesting things they think about. Um, someone that's current, what's going on, you know, in the world, news, you know, yeah, real life. You, can't, you just can't be a pretty face and a yeah. nice body like... I mean, people know me for doing makeup, but, like, I have a college degree. I had a whole co corporate career. Right. You know, I had a career. It wasn't just a job. Like, I had a career that I was doing in corporate America for, like, 12 years. So I started my business while doing that corporate career. Like, making a good salary, benefits, all of that. Like, I wasn't just a nobody that was doing makeup and trying to figure myself out. I already had a plan and was on that plan and on that path. So, you know, sometimes people, they judge. I mean, I know a couple clients, I won't say any names, that um, women that I've done makeup for, you know, that you go and they're like, oh, so all you do is makeup. And I was like, well, no, I did this. I was running my dad's business at 21 years old. You know, like I've been doing a lot. Right now at 36, I, I, I mean, I'm well-versed. I've done a lot in my career. So people just look at me and think like, oh, she just know how to dress nice and look cute. No, I have brains. Um, <laughs> I was running my dad's business before I ran mine. So that's how I knew how to build my business too. So, you know, I had things going for me. It wasn't just, oh, she's pretty. That's why he liked me. I had, I had a, you know, we always say it to each other. Our looks is the, the additional icing on the cake. But I think what we like about each other is the fact that we both go get us and we got something going on, like a boss to a boss. Mm -hmm. And then the looks and the style and all that stuff is additional. So you got to have some substance. You can't just be cute, just go to work and come home and smile and go on the phone and, you know, text and what you doing, what you did. Like, be about something. Have something that you're into and you're trying to do, you know. Men want a boss too. Women always talk about they want this boss, that boss, but men want that too. They want to be proud of what they got. Mm -hmm. I think uh, open-mindedness mm -hmm. is another thing that I like to see. Um, there's going to be things that a guy wants to do when y'all go out. You may not be into it, but um, yeah. as opposed to shutting him down on it because you think like it may just be a guy thing, try it out. So the fact that you interested in trying it, giving it a chance, he's, he's looking for that. Like, oh, okay, you know, I can show her, you it's know, true. different things. It's She's true. into different things. I like that. Okay, again, it's an extra dynamic, making things pop more. Yeah. Keeping the interest. That is uh, true. The relationship is getting stronger. It's going somewhere. So um, those are things that we like to see that kind of make us feel better about the situation, encourages us to uh, get more serious. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Those um, are definitely the basics. Yeah, but basically there has to be um, a foundation. It can't just be looks. You know, a lot of people think it's all on the surface. It's like, oh, she's cute, she got, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of men that pick women just off of shallow reasons. Right. You know that she looks good and stuff like that but she can't hold a conversation you can't bring her to certain events because she doesn't know how to conduct herself she doesn't know how to dress appropriately she doesn't know how to speak well you know so it's like 
that's not always going to work for you where you can just get a pretty face and a, sm a, st a flat stomach and a big butt. That's another thing you touched upon, the appearance-wise. I know uh, women, they want to see a dude that's stylish, you know, could flip it a little bit, you know, casual, business preppy. Um, for me, um, the same thing. Like, you mentioned, like, thought outfits, what's appropriate. <laughs> it's cool to look at. You know, we go out sometimes, we stunt. You know, you, you on my arm, I'm with you, okay. It's a good look. But all the time, looking like that, some places we go to a little conservative, it's not required. Yeah. So if a woman could switch that up, again, I'm envisioning, like, okay, I could take it here. I could take it there. I like this. I'm going to rock with her. Versus, again, trying to date different women, piece them together That's to give true. me what I want. It's true. It doesn't, it doesn't work anyway. Yeah. So you got a piece here, a piece there, a piece there. You kind of want to look, look for somebody who has a little bit of everything, you know, that you could work with. It's interesting, too, a little off topic, but I was looking at an old interview that Plies was on. And he said <laughs> he think a lot of guys date multiple women because they all have something. That they want. Yeah. So if he can get that into one woman, then he would just be with one woman. Mm. Is that true? It's debatable. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you would say about that. But um, I just feel like, I feel content. I, I do. I feel more than content, actually. You know, I know you're not going to find a perfect person. You know, but I, I feel very satisfied. I don't feel like I'm being robbed of anything or I wish I had a piece of this person. Like, I'm cool with what I have. Like, let's let's work with what we got. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I don't know that I'm wishing I could take a piece of another man and give it to him. And <laughs> You know, it's like for, for people to say that, it's just like, you know, just make the best of what you have. I, Not saying you should settle <laughs> either, but... I don't know that I feel like that, but that's why I guess I'm married because you're supposed to marry somebody that you don't feel you got to take pieces and create one person. They're, they're definitely looking for something, okay? When it's that's true. That's spread true. Spread across multiple, you know, it's definitely something they're looking for. Um, a lot of people are not sure what they actually looking for. They never really that's thought about thing. it, and they all over the place. So it's just here and there, and it's it's crazy. So that's a lot of the problem. Um, being honest with yourself. Um, a lot of people aren't and they again all over the place so um, I think for me those are the things um, that I'm looking for initially then after that it's kind of you're feeling it out playing it by ear yeah seeing where things go and mm -hmm. I, I definitely had an attitude towards you when we started dating let's see where this flows yeah I'm not gonna have you know preconceived notions or ideas in my mind already of what things should be. I'm going to just let it flow and see what happens. And it turned out, obviously, definitely being something with that attitude versus it, going in, you know, rigid. It's crazy because it's like I, every other situation I was going into it like, I hope, I hope this goes somewhere. I hope this could turn into something. Every like, scene, like, you play know, like, play, like, you're so anxious to get to the finish line. Like, oh, yeah, man. It, you know, his parents is married. I think he gonna want to marry me. And then, you know, like you overthinking, you you foreseeing something that you ain't even getting over yet. And with him, I guess because I was like so tired of the letdown, I just was, I went with the flow with him. Like, yeah, let's just see. And look where it is now. So sometimes you just kind of have to relax and go with the flow. But if they're telling you key signs and things like, I don't want children and you want children. I don't never want to get married and you want marriage. Those are things that you need to just be like, mm, let me not waste my time. Agreed. But um, I guess to narrow it down, men want everything. I'm just joking. They want a little of everything in one person. So you don't have to be perfect, but you should be a well-rounded person. Mm, that's facts. I yeah. like that. Well-rounded. That's definitely one of the keys to a solid, steady relationship. I'm not going to say necessarily marriage, but definitely a relationship a little more than six months. I can't. You, you're increasing your odds. You ain't yeah. going to guarantee you nothing, but definitely those are key ingredients. Anything goes wrong, 
it's on that person or it could just be timing. But initially going into relationship, those are things to work on. And also, I know I'm not a dude, but he'll tell you the vibe stuff, but the energy. Yeah. Energy. Energy is everything, man. You could come into a room and the person got this bad, heavy energy, but you come in there with, with a bright light, you know, with that good energy, and it's contagious. Do that person leave smiling and happy and stuff like that? So After a second date, yeah. You can be drained from the letdown, the cheating, the disappointment, but every time you start something new, renew that energy. Mm -hmm. Try, try. You can't come into it with that heavy energy. Think about it. You don't want to be around yourself. They ain't going to want to either. <laughs> so renew that energy. Come in there like... Nothing is happening. You could have been crying last night. Wake up with new energy. Mm -hmm. Push through. Absolutely. Push through. All right, guys. So that is wrapping up another episode of Nemo and Cloud Fetty. Like, subscribe, share. Comment. All of that. And if you have some topics that you want us to address, leave it below. If you want to ask us something, you want to, you know, advice on something, we don't have to share with the world. Let's talk. Send us a message, email us, follow us on Instagram, Fetty Gusto, Mima Creations, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next topic. Later. Peace.